What is going on everyone? This is Eric coming at you from just outside Hartford, Connecticut. Today we're going to be looking at the Chris Davis trade which occurred on July 30th, 2011. So this trade occurred between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers and basically the Rangers were just looking to shore up their bullpen a little bit and they were getting sick of Chris Davis's swing and miss. They thought maybe we can get a very good reliever for him. That's what they got. So Baltimore in this trade would acquire first baseman, outfielder, designated hitter, Chris Davis, alongside relief pitcher Tommy Hunter from Texas in exchange for relief pitcher Koji Uhara. So how did this trade work out? We shall start with Baltimore. So Baltimore, obviously Chris Davis, he when he joined there, he immediately helped to spark Baltimore's offense. And as we saw in Texas, he showed massive power and massive power potential, but he really struck out a lot. And Baltimore was willing to take that. You know, they weren't in the exact same position as Texas. They were willing to take a risk. And Davis, you know, he was a liability on defense as well. But prior to the 2016 season, they liked him enough that they signed him to this massive extension. And by 2018, it was pretty apparent that that contract extension was a big mistake. And... As we know, he under he endured the infamous 0 for 54 stretch from late 2018 until early 2019. So he just you know 54 straight hitless at bats, never good, especially when he's getting that much money. And then Tommy Hunter, he spent four solid seasons as a relief pitcher in Baltimore before he was traded to the Chicago Cubs in exchange for an outfielder named Junior Lake, who only appeared in eight games for Baltimore before being designated for the assignment. Now, on Texas's side, uh, Koji Uhura, he actually, he was doing really good before he was traded. And then when he gets traded, he struggles immensely in Texas. He actually really hurt that team. And they, I believe they actually just took him off the World Series roster when they made the World Series that year. He did have a good 2012, but then he walked as a free agent. And then, of course, Tommy Hunter in Chicago. He was good over two months, not great. I mean, he wasn't great at all, I should say. He was slightly below average in Chicago before walking as a free agent. So who won this trade? It's pretty clear Baltimore did to an extent. So they got a 13.9 war out of them, plus Chris Davis, decent player. But at the same time, that cap space that they used on Davis could have been used elsewhere, much more effectively elsewhere. You know, Nelson Cruz could have kept him. He could have kept Nick Markakis, but... And, of course, the other two guys, Hunter was good, but not great. Lake was nothing. Koji here on Texas got them a 1.6 war. And then Chicago gets a negative point, too. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good rest of your day.